So you guys know I like XFCE. Well, today I wanted to show you guys how to customize it a little bit. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to go through a little customization of the XFCE desktop environment. Now I won't go through a whole bunch because there's a lot that you could do with the XFCE desktop. I kind of wanted to show you guys how to customize it based on Mac OS. Cause I know it's a lot of people out there that like Apple products and they're possibly transitioning from a Mac to a PC and they want to get Linux installed. And to make that transition a little bit easier, it would be cool if the system kind of looked like what you're used to, which is that Mac OS desktop environment. Now I don't use a Mac and it's not that I can't afford it. I just don't want a Mac. I never had the desire to get a Mac computer. Now I was a fan of the iPod back in the day. I used to, I think I had like one of the second generations uh, a while back. So the iPods are awesome. You know what I'm saying? The one with the, where you can, it had the little dial in the middle. Uh, it was super dope, you know what I'm saying? To keep your music collection in a little small device. And I think I had the 60 gig, so it was super dope. But anyway, back to the video. Let's go on and uh, show you guys how to do a little customization. So let me switch over to my virtual machine and get started. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ co all right so i have a blank canvas of xfce this is actually a arch install and all i did was install the desktop environment of xfce on it and we're gonna make this look similar to mac it's not gonna be 100 obviously because it's a totally different operating system you know running in the background but there are themes out there that you could put on here to make it look similar to mac os so the first thing we want to do is kind of prepare the desktop. Uh, I already know kind of what directories we need to create, but let me just walk you guys through that first. So we're going to uh, create a couple folders. So first folder is the themes folder and we want to uh, put a period in front of it. That'll make it hidden. And when we hit create, you won't see it anymore because I don't have it showing hidden files. So say create, boom, that one's gone away. And then let's create another folder uh, for our icons. And that's what we want to do. You make sure you spell it exactly the same way. I C O N S and hit create and boom. Let's go down and view those directories right fast. Uh, so all we have to do is go into view, show hidden uh, and just verify we got our, our folders there. So dot icons dot themes. Now we need those folders for the themes that we want to install. This is the default location that you want to install it. You can install it in the user share uh, directory on the computer. That way it's available to all the users that are on the system. But if this is just a system you're going to be using, then this is all you need to do is just use your home directory. And it's a great thing to put it there as well within your home directory. So when you do your backups, you back up your home and let's say you need to put these themes on a new system you may have installed. Well, all you have to do is copy your home directory over and those themes are there and the icons are there. They're already stored on the system. And so it'll automatically look the way you had it on your previous system. So you don't have to go through all the configuration. So it's best to kind of put it in your home directory. Now, let me show you guys the themes I want to install right fast. So let's open up our browser and our, this is my first time opening it up. Uh, I just installed Firefox. Like I said, this is a blank canvas. Arch doesn't have any software on it right now. I had to install Firefox right fast just to bring this up. But the first site I want to show you guys is XFCE look and i'm gonna just search it right fast uh so we can bring it up boom so this is the eye candy website for xfce desktop and of course there is a gnome look .org. org you can get themes there for gnome but this is the xfce look and of course i had a link down in the description of the video of everything i install so you guys can get it looking similar to what i did 
and you can go through this site and look for any and everything you want to look for well the theme i wanted to look for today i believe it's called uh mos i believe may not find it I'm not sure what's up with their search uh but it was mcos but i find a theme for you guys and i actually put the link and their search for some reason is kind of weird i don't know what's going on with it. it used to not be like this i remember using it back in the day but uh let's go to ratings i know it's on it's like seven point something let's go through here and try to find it but it should be mcos theme and there we go so it's on the third page uh and this is the one i want to look for i want to get the dark one um there is a light one but i like the dark one so this will make it look like mac os as you can see by the screenshots um this is all you need you know what i'm saying it's just grab this theme so all you have to do is go into the files and then download the tour file and i'll show you guys once we get it downloaded and we can install the theme. It, like I said, you don't really have to do anything, but just drop the theme in that folder that we created. So it's gonna put it in our downloads directory, I'm sure. All right, so let's hit download. There we go. So let's see where it's gonna where it's gonna store it. Let's see. Let's open up that directory. All right, cool. So it created it in our downloads directory. We can extract here, and then let's open up this directory and grab this full directory and go back to our home directory and then go into our themes directory and just paste that in there and actually should have moved it because i don't like to leave you know files on the system that are not being used we can leave that that tour in the downloads directory but there you go so we got this theme installed let me show you guys how to activate it right fast so let's go to minimize everything just so you guys can kind of see uh, actually, I'm going to close that and then let's go under our settings and then go to appearance and there you go. So you should see that theme there. So all you have to do is select it and you can match it up. Let's see under icons right now. We don't have any icons other than the elementary icons, but we're going to get to that too. As you can see, it kind of takes a while, but it'll start, you know, changing up everything. It showed blue for a second. Now it's black. So that's what we're looking for. And as you can see, it kind of looks like Mac OS uh, or at least we're getting there. Um, right now, the icons is what's throwing it off. And let me show you guys uh, another tweak. So if we go in here under settings uh, and then window manager, uh, one thing you want to do in order to make it look like Mac, you want to move your uh, controls, your window controls over here to the left. So all you got to do is go to the main page of the style where we selected the theme and we could drag these over. Boom, boom. And so we get to go right there. We can hit close. Boom. That kind of looks like, you know, Mac OS a little bit. So, and I've played around with this stuff uh, in the past, just trying to make my system look similar to it because i don't use it just to make it look like it's something different you know and that's one of the powers of linux you can make especially xfce you can customize that however you want to now let's go down and work on getting some icons in here and we have our website back up and of course like i said i have this link down in the description of the video and let me show you guys on on the main site so you can go to full icon themes uh, and you can search through here and try to find something that looks like what you want it to look like. Uh, for instance, we may run into a kind of Mac OS style uh, thing. I think there's one that says Mac OS on it, um, but you can use whatever you want. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this. Oh man, they got a full icon theme for Catalina. Let's go in here and see what this one looks like okay cool cool as you can see that looks good let's roll with this one and i'm doing all this stuff on the fly um i'm just showing you guys because this is something that i do on my system i take the time to do it you know when i'm setting up my system to make it look how i want it to look uh, i go through grab what i want and then put it on there and kind of forget about it because i like the way the system looks at that point now all we have to do with the icons is go into our icons directory let's go find that download it um let's see let's hit here boom let's extract this here and this 
folder is a little bit bigger because it's a whole bunch of images. So it takes a little while to extract, which is not too bad. But anyway, let's drop it into our icons directory. Boom. So cut that in there and we can go down and close these now. And what we want to do is go under our settings and then go back under appearance and it should show up under icons. And as you can see, it's not showing up there. I know exactly what this is. So let's go back into our directory icons directory. Boom. Let's go in there. I forgot about it. We should have grabbed this and hold on one second and let's rename the top folder because it's pretty much the same. So I'm going to just put an underscore at the end of it. Let's grab these two directories. Boom paste them in here and let's delete this bad one boom now nah, they should show up in here so let's close it go back into our settings go back to appearance icons boom there they go so os catalina i wonder why that's not working it says let's go into the dark one though okay all right i mean it works i'm not sure what this error is ah it says home josh icons some about GTK update icon cache. Not sure what that means, but it's just a warning. So I'm gonna ignore it at the moment. And then let's try to find, let's see if we can find another one right fast. So they even got a Windows 10. You know, if you want your system to look like Windows 10, I may do another video showing you guys something like that. Uh, but let's see if there's another Mac OS one. And, and let's try another one. I found another one that's similar. I don't know what the ratings are on it, but we're gonna download it anyway and check it out oh and it looks like it's got 9.2 so a lot of people actually love this theme so let's go into the files let's see circle black circle blue uh let's just download the circle the regular circle one so let's give it a second and then we can download it right fast all right all right cool so we're downloading that one as you can see everything is starting to update you see your changes even with firefox so let's open up this directory and our icons have changed you know most of the time in order for everything to take effect you have to log out of your account on the system and then you know log back in and you should be good to go but let's grab this one and drop this one in there let's make sure it's not yeah let's go down and uh grab these two directories under here and then let's open up our icons directory and drop that one in there as well and we could delete that folder right there and let's go into our settings again and let's go under appearance and under icon we should have some more so the mac mojave circle so let's try the dark one ah now that looks good let's see what that one looks like yeah you can't see that one because it's using a dark a dark uh theme because this this theme right here is just 100 percent dark uh, then I will use the dark theme because it's going to put the fonts and the images in white so you can see it on a dark background. So super dope. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's a lot more changes you can make to the system. You can change up the fonts. You can change up. I just figured I would show you guys some simple customization. Uh, as you can see in our Windows Manager, we kind of moved everything over to the left. Uh, so kind of looks like Mac. And then we changed our themes up as well as uh, added some icons. And I like these icons right here. Uh, they look pretty good, but hey, let's do one more thing. I think we got time for one more thing. Let's go find us a Mac background. So Mac OS, I don't know what version, but background. Let's see if we can find us a, a cool background All right fast. Let's try this one. I always like this one for some reason. I always like this background. For whatever reason, I like this background uh, with the little, you know, mountain. Uh, look like that might not be a good place to get it from. Uh, actually, let's see if we can get this one. Let's go here. And it should open it up. See, open image, a new tab. There we go. So save image. Let's save it to our... I don't know why this thing does this, but it makes things super huge. So I can't see the bottom of it, but yeah, let's just save it in our downloads. And let's go down and set this as our background. Let's go and close this. Uh, actually, let's minimize everything. And I don't know where my background location is on XFC. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I always go here. 
and then just click in here uh, and then go to other and that'll show us the location so it's user share backgrounds at xlce so i typically just leave that up and then i go down and copy the image that i want to you know add to my backgrounds to that location so uh and this location you have to use sudo because it's not owned by the user it's owned by the system so it's a it's a shared directory so anyone has access to it to read it but in order to write things to it you need sudo for it so let's just cd to our downloads directory that way we can find that actual file name so it's 2158 whatever so all we got to do is type sudo move the 21 whatever dot jpeg and then we want to move it to our user share and then backgrounds and then xfce and let's move it there type in our pseudo password boom and then it might be easier ways to do this but that's just the way i've always done it uh, but as you can see our background is there so let's hit cancel there uh, it should show up in here let's see i may have to close it and open it back up that's fine so let's go desktop settings boom there we go all right so let's close out everything so you guys can kind of see it and then like i said you can make changes to some of this uh, like the dock it kind of includes that you know with some of the design as, as far as the theme you know with the icons and all that stuff uh this looks super cool and like i said you can customize it a whole lot more uh i didn't want to go too far because i ended up making like an hour long video and i just kind of wanted to show you guys at least the basics but one of the next things i typically do is install the whisper menu which is awesome it makes the menu look a whole lot better uh in my opinion or some people like it this way they'll just leave it that way but the whisker menu is awesome for xfce and really just those two things will make a whole lot of difference you know from that basic setup of xfce a lot of people say oh uh gnome is a whole lot better i get it i mean gnome is good i like gnome as well but xfce you could do some cool things in as well so I just wanted to show you guys that since I always talk about XFCE, never really show my desktop environment, but this is kind of some of the things that I do on my system. I don't go too far because I got to, you know, work and I got to continue producing videos. So I don't go too far with my desktop environment, but just a few things to make it aesthetically pleasing does help me with my workflow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you can, guys, uh, go down and share what you use on your desktop, what themes you use, what icons you use down in the comments below. So I may be able to find out some new uh, things that I haven't ran across of uh, as far as XFCE goes. Or if you use GNOME, tell me, how, tell me about some GNOME themes that you really like and that you use on all your systems. But... Hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it techie.